Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we'll tell you about why the F-22 Raptor remains the most dangerous fighter jet in the world. Before we start, don't forget to support our channel by pressing the subscribe button below and liking this video. Thank you. The U.S. Air Force and Lockheed Martin have now validated several new weapons on the F-22 Raptor to equip the stealth fighter with more long-range precision attack technology, a wider targeting envelope or field of regard, and a new networking technology enabling improved real-time collaborative targeting between aircraft. The two new weapons, which have been under testing and development for several years now, are advanced variants of existing weapons, the AIM-9X air-to-air -air missile and the AIM-120D. Upgraded variants of each are slated to be operational by as soon as next year. The new AIM-9X will shoot farther and reach a much larger targeting envelope for pilots. Working with a variety of helmets and display systems, Lockheed developers have added off boresight targeting ability, enabling pilots to attack enemies from a wide range of new angles. It's a much more agile missile with an improved seeker and better field of regard. You can shoot over your shoulder. If enemies get behind me in a close-in fight, I have the right targeting on the plane to shoot them, Ken Merchant, Vice President, F-22 Lockheed, told Warrior Maven in an interview. Raytheon AIM-9X weapons developers have told Warrior that the Block II variant adds a redesigned fuse and a digital ignition safety device that enhances ground handling and in-flight safety. Block II also features updated electronics that enable significant enhancements, including lock-on after launch capability using a new weapon data link to support beyond visual range engagements, a Raytheon statement said. Another part of the weapons upgrade includes engineering the F-22 to fire the AIM-120D, a beyond visual range advanced medium range air-to-air -air missile AMRAM, designed for all weather day and night attacks. It's a fire and forget missile with active transmit radar guidance, Raytheon data states. The AIM-120D is built with upgrades to previous AMRAM missiles by increasing attack range, GPS navigation, inertial measurement units, and two-way data link, Raytheon statements explain. The new AIM-120D uses a better seeker and is more maneuverable with better countermeasures, Merchant said. As the Air Force and Lockheed Martin move forward with weapons envelope expansions and enhancements for the F-22, there is of course a commensurate need to upgrade software and its onboard sensors to adjust to emerging future threats, industry developers explain. Ultimately, this effort will lead the Air Force to draft up requirements for new F-22 sensors. F-22 lethality is also getting vastly improved through integration of a new two-way Link-16 data link connectivity between aircraft, something which will help expedite real-time airborne collaborative targeting. We have had Link-16 received, but we've not been able to share what's on the Raptor digitally. We've been doing it all through voice, Merchant explained. Having a digital ability to transmit fast-changing, combat-relevant targeting information from an F-22 cockpit without needing voice radios lessens the risk associated with more jammable or hackable communications. F-22 Technologies 
Newer F-22s have a technology called Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, which uses electromagnetic signals, or pings, to deliver a picture or rendering of the terrain below, allowing better target identification. The SAR technology sends a ping to the ground and then analyzes the return signal to calculate the contours, distance, and characteristics of the ground below. The F-22 is also known for its Super Cruise technology, which enables the fighter to reach speeds of Mach 1.5 without needing to turn on its afterburners. This enables the fighter to travel faster and farther on less fuel, a scenario which expands its time for combat missions. The fighter jet fires a 20mm cannon and has the ability to carry and fire all the air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons, including precision-guided ground bombs such as joint direct attack munitions called the GBU-32 and GBU-39. It also uses what's called a radar warning receiver, a technology with an updatable database called Mission Data Files designed to recognize a wide range of enemy fighters, much like the F-35. Made by Lockheed Martin and Boeing, the F-22 uses two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines with afterburners and two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, an Air Force statement said. It's 16 feet tall, 62 feet long, and weighs 43,340 pounds. Its maximum takeoff weight is 83,500 pounds. The aircraft was first introduced in December of 2005. The F-22 Raptor fighter jet delivered some of the first airstrikes in the U.S.-led attacks on the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria when aerial bombing began in 2014, service officials told Warrior. After delivering some of the first strikes in the U.S. coalition-led military action against ISIS, the F-22 began to shift its focus from an air dominance mission to one more focused on supporting attacks on the ground. For the long term, given that the Air Force plans to fly the F-22 well into the 2060s, these weapons upgrades are engineered to build the technical foundation needed to help integrate a new generation of air-to-air -air missiles as they emerge in coming years. Good. 